Let's face it, everybody's got two cents and everybody's got two minutes. So here's my two cents in under two minutes. Hey, Tebow did it again, man. Come on, are you not a believer? What is it going to take for you to believe in this guy? Do you have a problem with the guy coming from third string to play in the last seven games, winning six of them? Is that what you have a problem with? Do you have a problem that he didn't perform the first three quarters of the game and then threw almost 200 yards in the last quarter? Huh? Look, the guy came from 10-0 with two minutes. The last two minutes of the game, he crunched, he punched, he set up his kicker. His kicker did 110 yards by himself. I think a 57 and a 59, 116 yards, something like that. If you're not following Denver, if you're not following Tebow, look, man, you got to follow this guy. You can hate him if you want. He's putting W's in the column where it counts. Somebody said to me, Grant, but what if a guy didn't perform for you the first five days and the sixth day he did well? Shit, I'd congratulate him, dude, and I'd fix him later. Look, let's give it to him. He is a rookie. First year out in the NFL. Big game, okay? He's unorthodox, no doubt about it. The fact that he's a Christian, what's that got to do with it, man? He's winning, baby, okay? The man, he, he's in the English language now is tea bowing tea bowing where you pray and give thanks after a game that's actually in the dictionary now. Look, give the man his freaking, what is it called, credits? Give him his credits, man. He's winning. And winners should be acknowledged in the American society. That's what our civilization's about. That's what's made Americans great, if we're a civilization at all. Hey, winners, Tebow, great job. Big game this week, buddy. Big game. I cannot believe you brought it back around and you put your team in a position and you led your team to where they could operate in those last two minutes to make it work. Congratulations, Denver.